Can you make money with trading bots? In most cases, no, and I will explain why in this video. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Eat the Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. So on my channel, I receive a lot of questions about crypto trading bots. So you probably saw these YouTube ads promising passive income while you sleep with automated trading. So the idea is that a small script is going to run 24 7 to do the trading for you so not only you don't have anything to do but it's also supposed to provide huge returns without taking any risk so a lot of these videos are scam where they just don't do any trading and they just steal your money but beside these scams there are also some real success stories so you have firms like jump trading or winter mute who made hundreds of millions of dollars from sophisticated algorithmic strategies and you may have even heard about flash on arbitrage bots pulling in thousands of dollars per successful trade but the reality is that for the average developer, building a profitable crypto trading bot can be challenging. There are technical, financial and psychological barriers that make it more difficult for solo traders to compete with the big players. So I know this from my own experience as well as talking to many other crypto developers who have tried and failed with automated trading. So in this video, we'll dive deep into the key reason why crypto trading bots are not the get rich quick scheme that many people believe, but I also share some advice on how you can actually find success in the world of crypto trading bots, even as an individual. So first of all, let's start with the basics. And there are two main types of crypto trading bots. So first you have off-chain trading bots that run on centralized exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, FTX, etc. So a typical strategy is to look for price differences called arbitrage opportunities between exchanges. So for example, you buy Ether at let's say $3,000 on Binance and immediately sell it at $3,010 on Coinbase. So for that, you need to have API keys, a fast internet connection, and a low latency infrastructure. And the other kind of trading bots is on-chain bots. So they run directly on the blockchain, interacting with smart contracts. They execute complex strategies to exploit decentralized finance opportunities. Uh, for example, uh, we have arbit a flash loan arbitrage bot where you borrow a lot of money on the blockchain to do an arbitrage between two decentralized exchanges where you buy low L and you sell high in a single transaction. There are also liquidation bots where uh, you liquidate loans that have insufficient collateral in some DeFi lending protocols like Compound. And a last example is sniping bots which buy automatically new tokens as they are listed on decentralized exchanges, hoping to get a good price by being very early, which after allow you to do an easy profit by reselling it. So for that, you need to understand blockchain mechanics, gas fees, and transaction priority. So regardless of which category we are talking about, off-chain or on-chain trading, but the general idea is that they are programmed to autonomously scan the market, identify profitable opportunities, and execute trades without human intervention. So now that you understand the basics, why can't we make money with these trading bots? Well, first, you have to understand your competition. So trading is a zero-sum game, and if you make money, it means somebody else loses money all the other way around. So yes, there are some people and some firms that are making some serious money with crypto trading bots. So let me paint a picture of what it looks like. So for example, we have Jum Trading, a Chicago-based high-frequency trading firm that reportedly made over $1.3 billion in crypto trading profit in 2021. Wintermut, a major crypto market maker, handles billions of dollars in trading volume every single month. Flashed on arbitrage bots have been known to pull in thousands of dollars per successful trade by exploiting DeFi protocols. But here's the reality check. 
these successful crypto trading operations are usually highly capitalized hedge fund, proprietary trading firm, and other institutional players. There are teams of experienced quantitative analysts, software engineers, and trading strategists. They leverage sophisticated trading infrastructure with servers co-located next to major exchanges. And they work closely with blockchain protocols and they have a deep industry connection. So these big companies successfully operate trading bots. But why can't the small guys also make money? Well, the first reason is that you are too slow. Speed is everything in algorithmic crypto trading. So let me show you why this is such a major obstacle for individual developers. So first of all, for off-chain bot, the price differences that bots try to capitalize only exist for tiny fractions of a second. Firms with ultra low latency infrastructure can execute trades in one or two milliseconds. In contrast, a bot running on a regular home internet setup might take 50 to 200 milliseconds to even detect the price difference. By the time your bot places the trade, the opportunity has already disappeared. For on-chain bots, so to profit from a blockchain-based strategy, you need to get your transaction included in the next block. So you are competing against high-frequency traders and other bots that are directly connected to miners' mempool. These competitors can pay premium gas fees to ensure their transactions are processed first. Example, a flash on arbitrage opportunity appears. The pros will win 99% of the time because their transactions get priority. So in the world of automated crypto trading, speed is not just an advantage, it's absolutely necessary. If your bot cannot react and execute in the blink of an eye, you simply won't be able to capture the profits before the window closes. So the next reason is that you don't have the right connection. I know it sounds weird. Why do you need connection for trading bots? This is especially important for on-chain bots because when you run an on-chain bot, you will need to have your transactions mined on-chain. And to make sure that the transaction is mined on time, like I said before, one solution is to pay a huge fee to miners, but it's a bit risky because even though you pay the miner fee, there is no guarantee that your transaction will actually make money. A better solution is to partner with a miner so that you pay them only if the transaction makes money. And since you are their partner, they have an incentive to mine your transaction at the beginning of a block before everybody else. But in order to do that, you need to convince a miner to partner with you. And it's easier to do that when you are a big company. So now there are some initiatives to democratize the access to miners like Flashbots. But currently, you still have a big advantage if you are a big trading company. So the next reason why you won't make money with crypto trading bot is that everyone is copying the same strategies. So profitable trading strategy are usually known and they have a limited capacity. They only so much capital they can absorb before the margins start to decline. As more competitors adopt the same strategies, it leads to lower profits. An example is the rise and fall of MEV sandwich attacks in DeFi. So in 2020, when there were just a few bots executing these attacks, they were pulling in 50,000 or more per successful trade. But as more and more bots started to copy this, profit margin plummeted to the point where many sandwich attacks are now unprofitable. By the time a trading strategy becomes public knowledge, it's usually too late. The edge has already been arbitraged away. So the reality is that the most lucrative crypto trading strategy are often closed guarded secrets. And even if you manage to reverse engineer them, you're still competing against team of experts who are constantly iterating and improving their models. The next reason why you won't make money with crypto trading bots is that you don't have the resources. So it's not just a matter of technical superiority. Successful crypto trading operations also have a massive financial and operational advantages that individuals just cannot match. 
So for example, this company have teams of mathematicians, computer scientists, and experienced traders. They have dedicated risk management specialists to monitor the position and limit the downside. They have 24 seven monitoring and maintenance to ensure their bots are running smoothly. They have millions or even billions of dollars in capital to deploy across multiple strategies. In comparison, for an individual developer, they have limited time, expertise, and bandwidth. You're a one-person shop. You have no backup or support when things will go wrong with your bot. You have a small capital, meaning that you only trade with tiny position size. You have limited resources to withstand losses or iterate on failing strategy. The sad truth is that crypto trading is a business of economies of scale. The big players can afford to have redundant infrastructure, run dozens of strategies in parallel, and take bigger risks in pursuit of outsized returns. You, as a solo developer, simply cannot compete with that level of resource advantage. The next reason why you won't make money with crypto trading bot is psychological challenges. So even if you somehow manage to overcome all the technical and financial hurdles, there are still the human element to contend with your own psychology. Emotional trading decision can be the downfall of even the most sophisticated algorithmic strategy. Things like holding on to losing position for too long, hoping for a turnaround doubling down on failed strategies out of stubbornness or pride, overconfidence leading to overly aggressive bets. And as a solo trader, it's easier to have some blind spots. For example, you don't have any team to challenge your assumptions or spot your cognitive biases. You have a lack of peer review on your code and models mean there will be bugs and flaws that can slip through more easily. And you have no risk manager to stop you from making impulsive, high-risk decisions. So the psychology of trading is an area that even the biggest firm invest heavily in. But as an individual, maintaining that level of emotional control is more challenging. And the next reason why you won't make money with crypto trading bot is regulations and compliance. And I know this one is pretty surprising, but Basically, what happened is that centralized exchanges like Binance and Coinbase have strict uh, know your customer and anti-money laundering requirements. So getting approved for API access and institutional grade account can be a major hurdle. Even a minor compliance problem can result in your trading bot getting blacklisted, frozen funds, or worse, legal trouble. But the big crypto trading firm have an entire team of compliance experts to navigate these topics. As an individual, you simply don't have the resources to keep up. So is it impossible to make money with crypto trading bots? No, not at all. But you need to have a clear eyed understanding of the realities involved. Successful crypto trading is not a get rich quick scheme, nor is it something you can do as a side hustle. It requires a full time, long term commitment, and even the odds are stuck against the average developer. So what can you do instead? Where well, here are a few suggestions. First of all, start small and manage your expectations. So focus on just one specific market or niche to begin with. Use small amounts of capital and gradually scale up. Understand that it will take months or even years to become consistently profitable. Find your unique edge. So look for unexplored or underserved areas of the crypto ecosystem. The big players are not necessarily interested in smaller opportunities. You can also collaborate with other developers. You can join forces with a team of like-minded individuals, combine your expertise to create more rubber trading strategies. You can provide mutual support and challenge each other assumptions. But you have to remember that the most successful crypto developers that I know didn't get rich from trading bots. Instead, they made money by learning blockchain development and selling their service as a blockchain developer, either as a freelancer or as a full-time employee. So that's the path that I recommend for anyone looking to build a sustainable career in this space. All right, I hope that I didn't discourage you too much. That's it for today, bye.